All right, so right here we have a Xeno 2 Plus. It's very obvious what's wrong with it. <laughs> um, when this one tries to fly, it does flips because it only has two motors. So let's do this as quickly as possible. I've already got videos where I've showed you how to take it apart, so we're gonna we're not gonna be as detailed with that, but we'll take it all apart. That just unsnaps off. Take the screws out. I don't know if you can tell, but this baby, this, this took a pretty good hit. I was actually surprised that the camera still works on this one. <laughs> it does. So this Xeno 2 Plus is a pretty tough one. I hear something flopping around inside this bad boy too. There's a broken part in here somewhere, I can hear it. So this cover snaps on and off, just be careful, go around, unsnap it carefully. And there it is. Let's see, is there something broken that's flopping around in here? I can hear it. There we go. Ah, I know what that is. This part, you can probably hardly see. That right there goes to the gimbal. So because of that, the gimbal on this thing doesn't have a stopping point. So if you watch, it stops right here. Watch when I go this way. It goes all the way. It's not supposed to do that. It's got little tabs up underneath here. See if we can see them. Probably can't see them. It's all black in there, but there's a tab here and there should be a tab here, but it broke off. So <clears throat> that's only a problem if you try to start the quad with the gimbal turned all the way to the side then it's going to go goofy when it tries to calibrate so in this case it's not a problem as long as you start the quad with the gimbal somewhere here in the middle and then it'll do its calibration it'll be perfectly fine but you can take that part glue it back on you can fasten something else there to fix that and I see that a lot, uh, so much that uh, I ran out of those gimbal frames. I don't have any more. So we're going to go ahead and take this board out, but let's get some of these screws out of the way. Lift this one up just enough for me to pull the antenna wires, and then I'm going to take this one out. Now this screw will get in the way. You can take it all the way out if you want. Sometimes it's fine, but it, it holds the antennas, so I'm just going to pull those back, see if I can get it to come out. And then a pair of needle nose usually helps, or tweezers, so I'm going to grab it over here, bring that side out, let's get this antenna out of my way, and this one. I'll try and do it so you guys can see. It's got a tab that's holding it pretty good. There we go. Okay. That looked a little violent, but it just it's the way it's snapped in. It's very normal. So you'll notice you have a plug here. We want to make sure we undo that. Okay, and then you'll also have the one for the gimbal underneath, so keep that in mind. This plug here goes down to your bottom sensors, just unplug that. Now the board should lift, there's a lot of bits of grass in here board should lift out now but remember we're connected on that uh, front piece still you still have you still have some ribbon cables to contend with here so 
Got to be very careful. And make sure there's no board in it. He might have left his board in. Uh, SD card. No. But it does have to come out at an angle because of the micro USB. Okay. So there's the cable for the gimbal right there. That's undone. And then our antennas, our right arm is this back one. And then our left one is this front one. Doesn't matter which one, but I like to put them back the same. Get them out of my way, and let's put this guy aside. So, now we're going to get this guy out here. So now this black piece here is ready to come out. And it sticks to that stuff pretty good might need a screwdriver see how you want to get it from the front I'm sorry that's I don't I'll show you in here in a minute but it's stuck to this board because of all the solder I mean the silicone let's get this guy out of the way this one is probably the worst one I've ever seen Where's how stuck it is. You want to be careful. Don't want to damage your board. It's trying to bring the board with it, which might have to do. This part right here is where the battery connects. See this part right here? That's that's going towards that. Or no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Apologize. This actually just locks it that battery connector in so you can't pull this out it hinges down inside there but we have to get it off of this the sides here there we go where it's connected to the silicone there we go that's better and get our wires out of the way and hinge it forward there we go okay out we go they went nuts I never have seen this much silicone on these but we got to take silicone off both sides here just this these two here so I can lift this board up now try to shimmy it Pass the wires so I can get at that stuff. I'm not worried about these wires on this side at all. There we go. I want to have good access to that. Like I can cut all these wires right now if I need to, if I wanted to, because we're not going to use them just got to get all this off so I'll start doing it and we'll see how easy it goes and then I'll cut a lot of it out but I'll show you the beginning portions of it it just comes off in little pieces not fun score in between with your knife is usually helpful you're not going to damage the board here if you do that there's no other components to worry about Good thing is this is a soft silicone, but it's still not the best to deal with. Just lightly score. You don't want to be cutting into that board. But I just kind of scratch away at it, and eventually it all comes off. You can take your tweezers and get pieces of it off. Try. Okay, so I have a lot of it off, but a lot of it's still on there. We're going to see if we can get this off, the solder off. Usually it, it does not want to come off with that gel or that silicone. 
So let's just see what we got here. And you don't want to overheat all this, so. But if I can get all the wires off, then I can clean up that gel better. Okay, out of the way. And always pay attention of the color of your wires. Notice they were red, black, red, black. Same here, red, black, red, black. They mirror the other side. So just remember VCC red, ground is black, LED4, and then uh, DT, DT4. And then you can write them down on a piece of paper or you can just simply take a picture. side here sorry I keep turning it but I got to be able to tug on these at the same time Okay, so I can clean all this up now a lot easier. Definitely want to get this stuff off my soldering iron. So, let's see how it all comes off. It should just come off now pretty easy since I have access to it with my fingernail yeah so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna clean all these puddles up with my soldering iron first make sure I have good a good bit of solder there and it's none of the joints are touching I just kind of got more here you cannot weld solder that stuff so clean up each one, no solder touching, no wires left inside the solder making it dirty. You can replace the solder if you like. I'll show you how to do that as well. And that's this stuff here. What I do is I go and get a little flux on there. I just kind of heat it up and let the flux absorb into it. And then stick it on my board here. Going to get a lot of smoke, guys. And suck in some of that solder. And you get a real nice clean pad. Clean. Let's try and just clean a few of them up here and I'll show you how to pre prepare them. Okay. So you'll see there's no solder on there now. It's just a pad. So we'll put new solder on it. But let me finish with the others. This one's still got a little on it and some wire mixed in it. A broken piece of wire. And it came off. And I think this one had a piece of wire in it. Nope. This one's pretty clean. Clean that one up. Good. Okay, they're all good. So what we're going to do is we're going to put solder uh, flux on all this and then make sure we put have enough solder on it. So get some flux here. And just get it on the pads.
a little generous there. And then let's get our, you're going to get a smoke effect here. And let's just put some solder on that one that I took it all off of. Hopefully you can see that. Nice little puddle. Perfect. And put it on all of them. It makes it a lot easier when the board's loose like this. And then when I put the new ones on, I don't have to add any solder. Okay, that side's really good. Once I wipe it down, I'll show you. Okay. Let's wipe it down. Give you a look. Nice puddles. Okay, this is all ready. I don't have to add any more solder to it when I hook my wires. It's all ready to go. So it's all prepared. Let's clean some of this up. And take these arms off. And I also want to note, I took this flex cable off. I didn't want to damage it. It's the one that was attached right here. So let's get this all out of the way. And take these legs off. Here and here we have to remove these screws. There's what I'm trying to do here. The tab that's down inside here. Try and pop it. Pop it so that comes off without breaking because it's like stuck. There we go. See my screwdriver? That tab was locked. Don't want to break those. So we got a screw here and then one on. We got to get this guy off here so you can see that screw. Forgot. We have tiny little screws in there. I always forget this part right here because there's tiny little screws that come out as well. Let me get my smaller screwdriver, Phillips, down in here. A lot of these quads have some little hidden screws, and I always forget these right here, and I try to take that cover off, and it just won't budge. Those won't come out. They'll just kind of probably sit in there. And let's see, do we lift out now? Yep. Get your fingernail in there. There we go. Snaps right out. And then here we are. Everything's exposed. Now we can get that joint out and then on the other side the joint right here. Try to knock those screws down. I just don't want all these screws falling out and dropping to the floor. Okay, that's all of them. Let's get this guy here off. Yeah, where's my little flathead screwdriver? So I'm gonna lift it up and you'll see it pop. Just like that. Okay. Take that arm out. Take this one out as well. Okay. And we can take that arm out. And 
and she's out. So now let's go ahead and put the new back motor in in place here. It's a little stiff right there. Okay. And I'm going to take these, turn it. Press down to get it in place. Okay, now it's locked in place. Put a screw in it. So there we are. Locked in place. Let's get the other arm in. Push the wires through. We have the antenna on this one. Okay, and let's flip her upside down here, flip it and get it in the open position, put this guy back in, same thing, turn it and push down to get it in its position. not all the way there here's what you want to see this hole right here you want to see that pin come up you gotta kind of wiggle it and get it to go in because that is what's going to be holding you on you can get get the screw started put a little pressure on it don't force the screw Wiggle it here and press with my fingernail. There we go. And now I can tighten the screw. And you'll see on the other side my pin's in place just like that one. Okay, so that's good to go. Wires are all in and we'll route those but we've got to put the other stuff all back together first let's get this back side all put back together and then closing the motors and opening them you'll see the wire keep your motor your wires or your legs open that way you have the submit the sufficient amount of wire there and i like to leave just a little extra so i put a loop right here Let's put all this back on, get it slid down in place. Get those little tiny ones back in before I forget. So when I solder everything back, I'm going to put the board, have the board in place, nice and secure. 
a little easier soldering there. Really, it's not easier, but it's uh, not going to be wiggling and moving around on me. It's not easier to place my wires, but we'll get it done. You'll see how how much more difficult it is. I'll show you, or you'll see when I'm doing it. Just try to keep that out of the way, and then bring this up. And I can put those bottom pieces back on here and here. So I have everything in the bottom here. And everything feels good. A little bit of sand and grit in those joints. All right, now the fun point part. Let's solder everything back. Try to keep this where you guys can see it and where I can still work at the same time. It's very hard for me to do this part and still be able to show you guys. Okay, so as you can see, it's, it's pretty deep in here. So it's going to be hard for me at this angle. I can't see with the camera directly above. But grab my tweezers. We'll start closest to me and work my way out. I think that might be the easiest. So let's keep everything bent back. Grab the wire with my tweezers. This is going to be really hard. Let's turn it a little bit so I can see. I don't know how. Let's see. Can you guys see? You can see somewhat. You'll be able to see as I get further out. But we're just going to get that wire soldered in place. Am I on it? Oh, my temperature. Temperature went into standby. Give it a couple seconds here. It heats up real fast. And you can put you can put a little solder, like you can take some um, not solder, some resin, and you can put on these. It does kind of does kind of help. So I just. Hit it with a little bit on each puddle. Okay, it should be up to temperature. Yep. Let's grab this wire. So I wasn't getting a hot, hot enough joint there is what it was. There we go. Big difference. Okay, that wire's in. And then keep in mind, guys, don't hit any plastic. I have burnt the side of quads easily with my soldering iron, and I don't want to do that with somebody else's quad. Keep all the wires out here. We're going to go with this black and red next, where it says ground. Nice little puddle there. Red. Black. Okay, it's all in. Nice and secure. See how these are ran? I ran these the same way. Now, hopefully the back will be easy. I don't like videoing this stuff, really. Because it just makes it so much harder for me to see
red. You guys like the smoke effect? Red. Black. Okay. There you see it. Good solder joints on all those. I'm happy with them. So now I gotta put my own silicone on there. I'll use something a little different. Try to keep it on there so you guys can see it too. And I'm gonna just kinda wipe off any flux. This is uh, electronic grade silicone white. Okay. And I'm just going to run a bead over top of it all. Like so. There you go. And let that dry. Okay, so it's not fully dry, but we're gonna go ahead and put these back on. So I wanna just make sure we're careful with how our wires are. You can see I've gone ahead and I've pushed all the wires down in here. So when the main board goes back on, they're not pressing on those wires. I left myself plenty of slack down here. So that wire's not pulled on and then routed this side just like you see that side. So let's push this, let's go up underneath here. Get this piece in. I already put this cable back on the board that I took off earlier. But now we are in place. And when you Put your screws in just make sure you look down in there make sure there's no wires underneath that black plate where your screws are gonna go get my tiny little one screws here and a smaller screwdriver the center one's the easiest So now let's push these wires all up over on the ends. And that's all ready. We're almost there, guys. So now I can put the board back in. Make sure this cable's off to the side. Get this cable pulled back out for your gimbal. And you're going to want to attach that first. So do it like this. Snap. Heard it click there. And then kind of wiggle that back through. Got this wire in my way. Okay. Watch this wire. Front antenna was left. I mean, left antenna is on the front peg here. And then the right antenna was on the back one. New ones always go back very tight. For the first time.
when they're tiny. Little a, a, ah, there we go. Okay, so you want to bring those under the vent right here. And bring it down in place. Like so. And you can plug your optic flow sensors, TOF sensor there, in place. And all that's good to go. So let's go ahead and put some screws back in it. Then we will uh, put this plate in there and uh, route those antenna wires the way they need to be. All right, so let's keep these spread apart. Snap this back in place and bring this guy in. This is a little tricky. It's, it's, a, it's a tight fit going back. Be careful not to break any wires on that fan or hit anything that you're gonna mess up. And I'll show you this little pin here. Get over top of there, that little pin right there. That's what makes it hard, just trying to get that lined up and have these snug on the side. So it's, sometimes it's a, it's a bit of a fight. But bring that front down and then you can usually take a pair of tweezers or something and kind of bend these to where, hey, it worked. And then hold that side at the same time because it's just going to pop out if you don't. <laughs> Normally I fight that, but that one went nice and smooth for a change. Okay, put these screws back. Just loose because I got to get my wires in place. Get this wire here underneath that, which is, I could have done prior, but I didn't. I forgot. Where's my screwdriver? Okay, right under, underneath behind it like that. There's a track you can run into here. You know, this isn't something you have to do, but this is the way it was. So it's going back exactly how it was. It's not critical if you don't, if you forget this step or you just don't want to mess with it. And they're not gonna hurt a thing if they're not secure there. Okay, underneath that screw there that holds them in place and then follow the track forward like so. Tighten that down to hold them. Oops, it came right out. Okay. In the track there push this one down everything nice and neat okay so those screws are all in now they need to be tightened up cables are all attached and secure in here back here my antennas everything's good and uh, we are almost done with this one. This was a nice, easy repair, guys. So we can snap this all back on. Okay. Go all the way around here. Get the back ones. That's all done. So it's all repaired. 
Now let's uh, power it up and make sure I wired it properly. <laughs> so let's keep it to where I'm going to have to back out here. There we go. We'll keep it like that. And then I'll get everything and connect it. So fast forward here. Okay, so this baby doesn't have much battery, but let's go into the um, GPS safe, safe takeoff, turn that off, and find. Motor turns this way, motor turns that way, motor turns that way. Motor turns that way. Good to go. Nice repair done there. Lights are all on. You can see. And uh, this one is done. So hopefully this was something that helped you guys. And as always, thumbs up on your way out. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. And the bell for future content notification. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace and love.